Hey guys, what's up? Sam here, back with another video. Now, I am still on the road to the perfect ROM. And last time I checked out the Lineage OS ROM. So this time I'm going to move things along and check out the pure Nexus ROM. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. Alright, first thing you need to do is make sure you have the files in appropriate place. So for me, I typically have them in my download folders. So you can just go ahead and just make sure you have them. So make sure you have the vendor file right here. Make sure you have the pure Nexus ROM, as well as make sure you have the GApps, all right? The full dynamic GApps is what they recommend. So we're gonna boot into the recovery menu. Now what I need to let you guys know, as always, anything you do, it's up to you. I really take no responsibility for anything that happens to your phone. If you have any problems, you can ask me. All right, now the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have a backup. If you have space on your phone, just create an Android backup by clicking boot system data and swipe all right after that you're going to wipe the system so go advanced swipe pelvic system data and cache again do not click on internal storage because that means you'll erase everything from your phone including the rom that you want to flash all right so after that just click on back back again back click install and click on the pure nexus you can add more. Click on the GApps and then wipe it. Next thing you need to do is just go back into the bootloader mode and flash the vendor image, all right? And let's go back to the home menu. Click on reboot and go bootloader. All right, now in this step, you're gonna need the USB cable to connect it to the CPU. All right, now go ahead, plug it into the computer like so. After that, you're going to go to your computer, go to the folder where you have your fast food files as well as the vendor file, all right? Now hold on a shift, press right click, and click on open command window here. You're going to type in fast boot devices just to make sure that it's connected to the PC and the PC is seen it fine, all right? Click enter. You should have fast boot right here and the serial number right here. Now after that, type in fast boot flash vendor and space press n tab it should be the one that says nuf 26k click on enter all right so now let's just reboot fast boot reboot so let's go Google Assistant built in. Now, Lineage did not have that, guys. This one does. This is amazing. I'm loving this right here. Yes, I'm in for sure. Get started. Nice. I'm digging this right here, guys. So this is it. This is a pure Nexus ROM, and it is really good. This is pretty much a pixel launcher right here. I'm loving it. You have the swipe now features. You actually have the nav bars that are on the pixel and the pixel XL with the animations. So this is pretty dope. And the swipe up. And look at this. They're all rounded icons. Even the ones that are not natively round, I, um, they had put it in these little round circles. So everything is now uniformed or kind of. So I'm definitely digging this. And I like the blue accent that they have going on. They have it right here. They have it in the settings menu right here. It's just pretty cool. Let's go and see. It's 7.1.1. And the patch is a February patch. So we are up to date on the security patch level. And look, all the settings or all the settings for this ROM are tucked away in this little tab right here. I actually like it this way. I prefer it this way because if I want to get something specific for the ROM, like a feature or something like that, I can just come here and find all of them instead of having to dig through the settings, try to find if it is there and where it is and all that stuff. All right, well, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go install everything and come back and just do a quick walkthrough of what is available, what are the features on this ROM. So far, I'm really liking it. It's smooth, it's responsive, no lags at all. Yeah, I'm digging this a lot. So yeah guys, that was a quick little video showing you how I installed the Pure Nexus ROM on my Nexus device. It's pretty
pretty much the same for most Android devices. Make sure you guys are subscribed so you won't miss part two where I do a full walkthrough of the ROM and all its features, alright? So I'll see you guys in part two. See you.